Hey there, Jake Dempsey here, CEO and co-founder of Project Broadcast. In this video, we'll take a look at the landing page feature in Project Broadcast. A landing page is basically a micro website that you can build in Project Broadcast. Remember, you can always visit training.projectbroadcast.com for additional training modules. And if you have any questions about setting up your account or any features of Project Broadcast, make sure to email us at support at projectbroadcast.com. Let's hop into uh, Project Broadcast and take a look at how you create landing pages in Project Broadcast and what exactly is a landing page. You access landing pages in Project Broadcast in the content area in your left-hand navigation. And again, the way to think about landing pages as they are effectively, not effectively, they are micro websites that Project Broadcast hosts on your behalf. The great thing about landing pages is you build them in Project Broadcast, you can send them through um, your text messages. You can also share them on social media. And when someone visits your landing page, we track that someone has visited your landing page. And if it's a contact that has visited your landing page from you inserting a landing page into a message, I'll, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment, then we'll tell you exactly what contact viewed your landing page and when they viewed your landing, landing page. Now you can imagine knowing who visits your landing page and when people visit your landing pages great for you to understand the engagement in your business. So let's create a landing page. I'll just create one and call it test. Now the title and the des description are actually, you know, important pieces of information because, you know, when you are building a website, the tab um, in your browser is what the title is going to be. So I'm just for fun, just going to call this Jake test and the description um, will show up when the link is shared. So I'm going to say, this is my example test. And what I mean by shared is that, let's say someone takes your landing page link and they share it on social media. You've seen how Facebook, for example, will pr you know create like a preview uh, of the website when you share any link on social media. The title is what's going to show in the browser tab when someone accesses this landing page. And the description is what's going to automatically show in the preview if your link is shared on social media. Now, there's a couple things you want to do when creating a landing page. Um, the first is the social sharing image. This image is, again, about the preview that shows if someone were to share your uh, landing page URL on social media, or even if you wanted to share your, um, you know, your landing page on social media. When you share a link on social media, you know, it, it, it creates this preview. It tries to pull an image from the website. Sometimes it picks a really, you know, poor image. The social sharing image here is what kind of tells the social websites, hey, this is the image I want to show in the preview if my link were shared um, on your platform. So you can add a social sharing image. I don't have one um, handy. So um, actually, I'll just use one of our video uh, one of our video images. So this is our landing pages video. Uh, I'm just using my landing pages little image I created here. It gives you some, you know, some uh, instructions on the recommended size and what the minimum size is. Auto tagging means that when someone visits the landing page, it will auto tag them with the name of the landing page. So in this case, we called our landing page test. Probably not a great um, name for a landing page, but if I turn on auto tagging, it just means that when someone visits my landing page, it will automatically tag them as test if they're a contact in my project broadcast, okay? Now, right now we have no views on our landing page, so we need to hop in and actually start designing the landing page and send it to somebody. So I'm gonna click start designing. When you start designing your landing page, you can either start with a blank template, meaning nothing is going to be on the landing page, or there's a number of templates that Project Broadcast has uh, provided for you as a starting point. Um, I'm just going to pick one of these as a starting point for us to kind of play with. So let's just, uh, we'll pick the cosmetic one. So when I click the template, it loads the template into the landing page builder. Now, I want to make sure, you know, I'm clear on this. I'm not going to teach you how to build a landing page using all these components in this video because that would really take many many hours i think the thing with landing pages that's important is that you learn like here's how you create a landing page but in terms of designing a landing page 
that's where you're just gonna have to kind of get in and play with the landing page builder. But I'll give you a couple of you know ideas here on what you can do. So in this particular template that we selected, which was a cosmetic one, you know, I can come in here and actually edit this and call it, you know, Jake's beauty line. Uh, if I want this image to be different, you know, I can click on the the area of the landing page um, and walk through what exactly is happening. This is a button, uh, you know, a button on the landing page. And, you know, I can decide where um, or what I want the button to do as an example. So, you know, right now it's not doing anything because it's a template, but I can have it open a website or, you know, send an SMS message or go to a different section on the page. Um, so if I, you know, have this be open a website and this is, you know, projectbroadcast.com, maybe that's where I wanted them to go. And I can decide if I want it to stay in the same tab or open a new tab and I can change the, you know, the, the, the name on the button. So I'm like visit site or something. Um, so it's very easy to come in here and leverage the landing page builder in a template and then just start editing, you know, the template. So if I don't, you know, if this isn't my actual product, I could come in here and click on this uh, this image and I could change the image if I want to, right? Change the pricing, change the the uh, text information that is here. So that's using, you know, an existing template. I'm going to just leave this uh, for, for now and I want to just show you what the blank version looks like. So I'm going to create another landing page. We'll just call it test two. Again, you should use a you know, a name that really represents a landing page, a good title and a good description. I'm just using test for our demo, our demo purpose here. But under test two, I'm going to go into start designing and I'll just pick a blank, you know, make it blank. When you start out with a blank landing page, it's just an empty website. So you start designing the website and this is where you'll come in here and learn how a landing page is constructed. Most of the time you'll start with blocks and you'll start deciding what kind of layout you want on your landing page, right? So this is a single column, a two column, a three column. You'll start kind of building out the layout of the landing page, and then you'll start putting content like columns and text and buttons and images in the landing page. Again, I'm not going to get into the deep details on how you build a landing page, but those are the two ways you can get started, either by starting with a blank template um, or starting with an existing project broadcast template. So let's, let's pop back over to that first one that we created. Um, I didn't save it, actually. So let me go back into it. Uh, which one do we we, we we picked the cosmetic one. And I'll just change the title just so we can see that it saves that. Jake's Beauty Page. Uh, <clears throat> it does, updated the design for me. I'm going to close my designer. We should see a preview right? We're previewing our landing page here. Now, when we create our landing page, the there's two URLs that are created, okay? The URL that you see on the landing page itself, right here, this is the URL that you'd probably share on social media. It is not tied to any specific contact. So when anyone visits this landing page from this URL, it'll get registered in your landing page views as a guest because we don't know who's clicking this URL. This is the generic URL for your landing page. We additionally give you a QR code for your landing page that takes them to this generic URL. And this is what allows you to share your URL or QR code with anyone on the internet or at an event or on a placard in your, you know, in your brick and mortar business. Now, if you're, if you're sending a landing page through a message, I'm going to show you how you do that. I'm just going to use the chat area. Now, remember, when I'm showing you things in chat, you can, if it's, if it deals with the message composer, you can use that anywhere in project broadcast as a message composer, right? Schedule broadcast, keyword replies, campaign messages, templates. Um, I'm just using the chat area just because it's just a quick way for me to demo how you would insert this. So when you're using the message composer, you click the plus, I want to insert a landing page. So I click landing pages. I can search my landing pages, but in this case, I've only got two, so it's very easy to find. Uh, I'm going to insert the test landing page. I'm just going to send that because what I want you to see what the system does. Notice how it creates a, a link for uh, this contact, but this link is different than the landing page link on the landing page um, detail screen. That's because this link is specific to this contact. 
if this contact clicks on this landing page link, it's going to register that this contact has viewed my landing page. I'm going to click this link to kind of simulate uh, this contact clicking the link so you can see kind of what they would see. Uh, if I click the link, it takes me to the landing page. Let me hop over there real quick and show you what that looks like. Okay, now we're on the landing page itself. So when I click that landing page link, again, simulating the contact clicking it, this is the landing page that they were taken to. Notice it's got my Jake Beauty page. So this is a fully functioning website. And again, this landing page can be as long as you want. It can be any design that you want. Um, it may be based on one of our templates like this one, which is based on that cosmetic template. But it could be anything you want. Now, people use landing pages for a number of things. They do it for newsletters, before and afters, testimonials, product information. Um, some people use it even just for prospecting to talk about, you know, their business. Um, just think of it as a micro website. So anything that you would think about putting on a website, you could put in a landing page. Let me hop back over to Project Broadcast so we can see now that this page has been visited, what happens on the landing page side. Okay, now we're back in Project Broadcast. So I'm going to go back to our landing pages area, click on our test landing page, which is the one we've been kind of playing with visiting. And if we scroll down, we should see that we have one view. Now, this was us simulating the view by clicking the link in the chat, right? But obviously, your contact is going to be one clicking the view or clicking the link. And if I go into the views area, I can see that this specific contact accessed the landing page at this specific date and time. Now, if this contact viewed the landing page multiple times, they're going to actually show in this list multiple times. I'm going to see that this contact accessed my landing page um, more than once, which is really helpful, again, in understanding the engagement. So if you think about a landing page, let's pretend you've got a new product launching. You may create a landing page that has images of that product, talks about that product, maybe has videos embedded in the landing page uh, that talks about the product. And then you may send out that landing page to your contacts either you know, via a chat, a scheduled broadcast, a keyword reply, or a campaign. And then you can come into the landing page and look to see who has viewed it. The other nice thing is that if they viewed it, and I've got auto tagging turned on here, you know, we called our landing page test. Again, you're probably going to have a much, much better uh, name for your landing page than I did. But I should be able to go over to my tags area also in the audience section and see that there's a test tag, um, th this one, because um, this is the name of the landing page, and see that there's a contact in there. And this tag would continue to grow. And that's very useful because later, let's pretend again I have a new product launching. I create a landing page for the new product. I send it out to all my contacts trying to create interest in the product. And I want to message the people that I know were interested. Well, if they viewed my landing page, it's most likely that they're interested. So let's pretend I send out 100 messages with a link to my landing page. And let's say 70 people, you know, clicked on the link in the message and viewed the landing page. Well, now I've got a tag with 70 contacts that show these are the 70 people that accessed your landing page. Well, later when I want to kind of inquire about how they, you know, what, what did they think about the product information, I could create a schedule broadcast and send it to all of the, you know, all the contacts in that tag because those are all the contacts that viewed my landing page. Landing pages have an unlimited number of ways, uh, you know, that you can use them uh, in terms of what content you put on them and how you're using them in their business. But the great thing is like they're unlimited. You can create as many landing pages and project broadcasts as you want. You can share the generic landing page URL or QR code on social media or in your place of business. Um, and you can send landing page links directly to contacts using the insert button so that that link is specific to the contact to know exactly which contacts are engaging with your content.